talking about everything about from uh, Donald Trump and the Republican Party stealing Democrats. And, 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 I could see that. And, and, and running after the, the Reagan Democrats and the, the Blue Dog Democrats. I, I just don't see any establishment Republican for whatever reason. I know what they're thinking. If we just move to the left, we'll get some people on the left that will like no, us. Right. No, and they're not. They're, well, uh, Trump is not moving left. He's espousing what he's going to do and how he's going to do it. And it is about making America... The best country it can be, whether you're a Democrat or a Republican, if you are a sane-minded person, you're going to be like, yeah, it sucks out there right now. Well, you know what? I'm going to invoke Rush again because he said this a bunch of times too. Conservatism properly defended yes. will always win the debate against liberalism it will always win and so here's trump who's not being um uh ashamed he's not ashamed of his conservatism and he's just wearing it on his sleeve and he's saying look we're just better and now it's time to win and these guys are terrible they're terrible terrible people and we're gonna be huge you to be great again when was the last time we won we don't win anything anymore we need to get back to winning right because that's what America does. We win. I think that was I think that was quoted word for word what he said. Probably and also, you know, I definitely. You know what my daughter said? My I haven't said a word about any kind of I, I did not start a conversation with my daughter about politics ever. And all of a sudden one day she said, um, I like that Trump guy. And I was like, <laughs> How old is your daughter? Nine. You're right. <laughs> and I'm like, Well, why? Did I was thinking maybe she heard me talking him up. Right. No, they play clips of stuff that he says and stuff some of the other candidates say on the TV and sometimes on the radio, sometimes when she's in the car or whatever. And she listens to him. And you know what? You know what her reason was for liking Trump better than the other people? I, this just blows my mind. This is a huge insight. And it's probably going to be the reason why he wins, which is really sad, but it's true. She said, when the other guys talk, I don't know what the hell they're saying. Well, she didn't say hell. She said, <laughs> I, mean, I, don't, she know said, I don't know what they're saying. When Trump talks, I understand what he's saying. My nine-year-old daughter said that's all. That's the only reason she said she likes him. You know, there's a lot of people out there. I would say the majority of America that will sit down in front of the TV and try and listen to a politician talk. And then they're just like, oh, hell no. What What did he just you? If you sat through the State of the Union address. Oh. And you it's got tough. Tough. And, and you actually heard what he said. I, I commend you because I didn't listen to it. I tried. I couldn't. I did. I tried. I could. I took. I got the takeaways. I got the cliff notes. <laughs> I listened to the whole thing and I did. I, it was labor. It was labor intensive. Right. I had to focus. So on CNN, this guy named Begala, he responded to Roger's remarks and dismissed the notion that there were Democrats coming over to the Republican side to support Trump. Quote, the notion that Trump is appealing to Democrats is a myth, not math. Tested the better part of today going through polls, Begala said. Trump, he is a higher negative among Democrats than various forms of syphilis. I hate that guy. That's why I want him to be the Republican nominee. <laughs> I don't get that. Okay. So, so <laughs> syphilis, and I hate him. That's why Apparently, I... Apparently, uh, syphilis is on the mind of a lot of Democrats. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> so I don't... Uh, yeah. I don't, I don't get that. And the, uh, the next Democrat debate will be... Mm-hmm. When? Oh, it's tonight. Super Bowl evening. Oh, oh there's one tonight. <laughs> It's really yeah, right after the show. In fact, uh, my wife said, "Are you going to stick around and watch it?" With, they're going to uh, Brian. Well, they're going to they're going to schedule the next one on Super Bowl Sunday during the game. Yeah, it's going to be a half hour of uh, uh, <laughs> of the halftime. <laughs> right. We're going to do a halftime debate. Well, on a C-SPAN. Oh Something. wow! <laughs> it's going to be on some channel that's only available if you pay. It'll be on pay per view. Right. It'll be a thousand dollars. Right. Right. Or no, what's the max you're allowed to donate? 
twenty four hundred something like that. Twenty four ninety nine. What's the max you're allowed to donate? Whatever it is, that's what the pay per view is. Be. Oh, <laughs> and it all goes to the party, the DNC the party. Yep. Oh, wow. my goodness. I can see that. All right, so um, we can. I don't want to miss out on uh, the tidbits I've got. I can gloss over this stuff with Hillary. We don't have to get into it with her. But I'll give you the highlights. If it's entertaining and I find it fascinating. Okay, I'll give you the highlights real quick. Uh, Chelsea Clinton stepping into the 2016 battlefield against Bernie Sanders. A shift that some Democrats are interpreting as a sign of trouble for her mommy. Oh, what? Making her first solo appearance on the stump. On the stump. Chelsea Clinton late Tuesday ripped Sanders over his proposal on health care and college affordability, arguing that White House hopefuls want to dismantle Obamacare and Medicare. The things that tell you as much as anything about the Clinton campaign. Current state of mind is Chelsea going on the attack. It tells you everything you need to know, said Democrat strategist, that this uh, challenge from Sanders is real and they've got to be freaking out. So, uh, is that a quote? Yeah, that is a quote. So, Chelsea lives in a $10 million apartment, had a $3 million wedding, and makes $600,000 a year. 600000 a year. How, isn't she like our age? Yeah, yeah. Okay. This was from her at, at during her stump. It's quote. I was curious if if I could care about money. What? On some fundamental level, and I couldn't. That is so uh, scripted. That is so <laughs> scripted. That sounds so <laughs> fake and so scripted. Oh, so, so, about the only thing I would want to have anything to do. Now, does this sound? This is Hillary. Now, she tears into Sanders. Tell me if this doesn't sound like she's tearing into a Republican. Clinton charged that Sanders' policy proposals were unrealistic. That the Vermont senator would raise taxes on the middle class families. And that he could not be trusted to fight special interests and protect President Obama's achievements, including his signature health care law. I mean, it sounded like she was accusing it. It sounds like she's screaming at a Republican. Except for the fact that he would raise taxes. Is she trying to but, say, vote for me because I'm the conservative candidate? Yes! But we need to protect Obama's achievements. Right! So, Listen, let me tell you something. <laughs> Bernie Sanders is a communist. Right. Obamacare right. is the largest puzzle piece in the puzzle that we call communists right. or communism. Right. That being said... There is no way you have anything to worry about the communist piece of the puzzle called Obamacare if you elect a communist into office like Bernie Sanders. So what is she talking about? Wait, it, she's, it's sleight of hand. It's smoke and mirrors. She doesn't, it doesn't matter what she's talking about. It's whether she can trick you into voting for her. It's very tricky. That's all that matters. Right. So she, she's losing the female vote. She's losing the working class vote. Now she's losing the communist vote. That's true. A majority of America says she can't be trusted. And on Morning Joe, it got heated. Heated up. Because this week, Hillary, Bill, and Bill. Yeah, there's two Bills. The sex candle. Who is the slut and the nut? What? That came out of Hillary's campaign. Oh. Who's the slut and the nut? Who's crazy out there? And who's, you know, just trying to draw up trumped up charges on somebody who didn't do something? I don't know what you've been doing. Anyways, the bottom line is uh, they had this guy named Harold Ford, who's a, a professor at University of Michigan. And he's talking with Joe Scarborough about Hillary, Bill, and Bill. And whether, if Hillary's going to invoke women's rights, should she not be responsible to answer questions about her husband? Does that make sense? All right. Here's a little bit of it. I'm not going to play too much. I'm just going to play a little bit of it and you see how this thing goes. The New York Times editorial that we were talking about said, Bill Clinton's sexual past is Bill Clinton's sexual past. Americans have heard about it. They don't, they don't care anymore. 
But this is about Hillary Clinton. She's going out claiming to be a feminist. She's going to have to account for how she treated, perhaps abused, as Maureen Dowd said, bullied or didn't these, stop. these women who were sexual, sexually harassed, uh, according to them. In the age of Cosby, which we are, are now in, <laughs> Was this I the wonder 80s? how the public looks at Bill Cosby and says, this beloved man who changed American culture as much as any entertainment entertainment figure uh, in our lifetime is going to have to be accountable for the way he treated women behind closed doors. How does a public that has come to that conclusion say the Bill Clinton stuff's okay and we're not going to even examine the person who may have been in charge of what has been called the quote sluts and nuts defense wing of the Clinton campaign where they said their, their, their quote was drag a dollar bill through a trailer park and it's amazing what'll happen. Yeah. Look, I'm not here to defend anybody's uh, anybody's past and some of these things, but the, the matter, the facts are pretty clear. Number one, these matters have been litigated, and I believe if the Republican Party wants to travel back down the has path, has Hillary Clinton's uh, role in this been litigated? Second. The issue of Mr. Clinton's sexual past. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, we're so not, I, not, we we're not interested in that. Sure. We already said we weren't. But, but Joe, you can't say you're not interested. That's the content. That's the core of what we're no, talking. No, 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 Harold. I just said the New York Times editorial said. Okay, I'm done with Joe. So here's the thing. That article said that America doesn't care about Clinton, Bill Clinton anymore and what he did. Wait, wait who is, whose opinion is that? It's the editorial. But he, they're wrong. Correct. But because of Bill Cosby. Right. And that's what they're feeding. That's what, and Joe's supposed to be a conservative. And so he's feeding this notion, yeah, we're done and we're over with that. No, 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 no. We're not done and we're over. Bill Clinton is freshly renewed. All the stories are coming out, and now there's a new book out saying that there's dozens, dozens, could be up to 40 women that are coming out on Bill Clinton, and Bill Cosby is going to prison, probably. Uh, he's got a lot of problems. Some of his worst charges are beyond the statute of limitation, though, so... I don't know. We'll what, see what happens. Yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. Well, he was indicted and had to post bail to get out of jail. Right. So it's cr it's it's a criminal be thing. A show trial himself. and all that. But if this, here's the thing: if everybody gets all juiced up about uh, what's going on with Bill Cosby, they're going to be ripe and ready for when all the stuff starts coming out. And by the way, this is where the Democrats have got it wrong. And and Rush, oh, and Hannity. All the conservatives are saying the same thing, and they are right. I, I really, truly believe it. There is an entire giant generation of voters who would normally vote for uh, a Democrat. Right. Who are more feminist than we've ever seen in American history. Who right. have no idea what happened with Bill Clinton. They're too young. Right. Right. They never lived, their they, 20s. They lived through it. Right, they're in their 20s, they're more political than ever, and they are hyper-sensitive about um, women's equality and, and uh, treatment. Well, treating men like predators. Right. They truly believe men are wild animals who have only one thing on their mind, and that is mass rapage of as many women as possible. Right. And they're, and they're nonstop on alert for this. And when they find it is out, zero, there is zero tolerance. Zero. It's zero tolerance. Zero. Don't you even look at me like you. I know what you're thinking. You want to do it? I raping me. Yes, that's zero tolerance zero. on I rape. I want you. I'm calling the cops right now. Right. I'm calling them when they hear <laughs> what happened with Bill Clinton, and then they hear that she uh, covered it up with the bimbo eruption. Uh, oh thing. yeah. They're saying that that there's just going to end. That's going to end Hillary, and that doesn't even include the possibility of her going to jail for all of her scandals since uh, she was Secretary oh, of State and all that. Yeah, she's got to be. This has got to be a nightmare scenario for, for the Democrat Party. So just 21 days until the presidential primaries officially begin in Iowa, Hillary Clinton support amongst Democrats nationally has taken a serious tumble, falling eight points to 43 percent. And for Bernie Sanders, rose six points to 39. Did you see the State of the Union address? Some of it. Some of it. Why? They, several times. We, you know what they do. They'll cut to a camera zoomed in on somebody in the audience. Correct. And, you know, a bunch of recognizable faces. But usually they'll have the name across the bottom of who it is especially if it's not a recognizable face or whatever. Right. They get to Bernie Sanders. <laughs> it's just, it's the it's, comical. He looks like a,